You may think most of the sugar you consume comes from sugar cane. But that's not always the case. In fact, sugar beets are now playing an increasingly important role in American agriculture. And Michigan was an early pioneer in growing sugar beets, and it's still one of the top five producers in the U.S. And Michigan is where our Yolanda Vasquez learned how sugar beets are grown and turned into sweet products for your dinner table. An unseasonably warm day sets the stage for an autumnal harvest of sugar beets a few miles south of Bay City, Michigan. Farmer Wayne Heck readies himself for an intense few weeks on the job. We start 7 o'clock in the morning and run till 11 o'clock at night and get up the next day and do it all over again, weather permitting. This time of the year, the weather in this part of Michigan isn't always favorable. Two days of showers have turned this fertile field of sugar beets into a muddy mess and the possibility of an early freeze could impact the harvest season. As the fall continues, we're um, conscious of the fact that the day will come when our ground will freeze up. And once the ground freezes, we no longer can harvest our sugar beets. So we have to stay ahead of the weather. Harvesting begins with a sugar beet defoliator. Farmers call it getting the green off. Rubber flails on the defoliator spin at some 2,000 revolutions per minute. And these flails knock the leaves off just ahead of the harvester and, and are mixed back into the soil again and decompose. Then a mechanical harvester lifts the beets up from the soil. The wheels are pitched at an angle, so as they turn, they literally pinch the beets out of the ground. Working six rows at a time, farmers can harvest 35 to 40 acres a day if they have enough help and trucks on site. The beets make their way to a cross conveyor that loads them directly onto a truck. Is it all right if I empty the bin on the uh, opposite side of the truck for you? Heck communicates with the driver of the truck to make sure their equipment is lined up. Working in tandem guarantees most of the beets will make it on board. Like I say, if we get it up out of the ground, it's going to end up on the truck. A sugar beet is a vegetable. Its root contains a high concentration of sucrose, better known as sugar. This is a very good sugar beet. Heck says a mature, healthy beet is about a foot long, weighs three to five pounds, and is roughly made up of about 18 percent sugar. Surprisingly, the smaller beets are sweeter. A lot of small beets have more sugar in them than a few large beets. Really? Yes. Okay. Why is that? I can't answer that question. <laughs> I just know it's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you tell me, I'll believe you. <laughs> Michigan farmers have been harvesting sugar beets since the late 1800s. Each year, more than 2,000 growers here will produce close to 3.5 million tons of beets. Just to give you an idea of how many sugar beets are typically harvested, this semi holds about 30 tons of beets. Now, there are normally three trucks out on the field. Each one takes back about 8 to 10 loads. So if you do the math, that's anywhere from 700 to 800 tons of sugar beets in one day. Oftentimes, the farmer thinks that once that commodity has been harvested and taken away that the job is done. But in many respects, it's only beginning. Once out of the ground, the beets are transported to one of several processing plants. Here, they'll be offloaded and stored outside in huge piles, some 20 feet high and 1,000 feet long. Michigan's cold winter weather helps keep the beets fresh. The sugar beet is a vegetable, uh, so it's alive and it's respiring. So we need the cool temperature that we enjoy here in Michigan to store them, much like refrigeration. To assist in their preservation, fans blow cool air into the piles to get rid of any hot spots. If you don't have weather that's cool and, and conducive to storage, that can be a major challenge. Michigan Sugar Company CEO Mark Flegenheimer says this plant will move into full production in the fall and process the beets well into the following year. Daily, we make about 50,000 hundredweight of sugar, processing about 20,000 tons of beets each day, each 24 hours that we're operating. It takes a highly mechanized, multi-step process to extract sugar from beets. The end product involves a little cooking and a little chemistry. The beets are washed and sliced into thin strips called cassettes. They are placed in a diffuser which uses hot water to extract the beet sugar into a liquid solution. From there we started a purification process where we're getting the impurities out and leaving the pure sucrose behind. A multi-stage evaporator takes out more water, forming a thicker juice. 
Bits of sugar dust are added to initiate crystal formation. Then you have a vessel full of crystals wrapped in a liquid, which is molasses. Finally, a centrifuge separates the sugar crystals from the liquid. The final product is dried with hot air and packaged. About 70% of our product goes to what we call industrial customers. About 30% ends up in the grocery store. This 100-year-old factory is the largest beet processing plant east of the Mississippi and one of the largest in the country. We make about a billion pounds of sugar each year, about $300 million in revenue. Five years ago, more than 1,200 local farmers purchased Michigan Sugar Company and turned it into a grower-owned cooperative. Farmer Gene Malin says he supports this type of agricultural autonomy. We were offered the opportunity to form a cooperative, buy the factories, produce our beets, sell our sugar, and become owners of an industry that we could control from start to finish. Beet farmer Wayne Heck says cooperatives like this help producers stay competitive and have a greater say in the entire process. I still think it's the only way that uh, they're going to succeed and remain in the business of uh, growing sugar beets. Wayne Hecht is a third-generation farmer whose family has worked this land since they immigrated from Germany. He considers it an honor to carry on the family tradition. I had the privilege and pleasure to grow up on a farm. Uh, quite frankly, it was all I knew for a long while, and I came to the realization that I like this. The sugar beet market has seen ups and downs in recent years, but growers hold out hope that the beet's possible use for ethanol production could promise a new future for fuel as well as food for American consumers.